What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Where last week we managed to get this building partially complete. There's a lot of work we need to do. But this week we're going to add this. A new storage to our base. Also remember if you're enjoying the videos make sure you like and also subscribe to see future content. Right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at where I'm going to send all my items. Everything in this building I want it to go into a storage uh, because I don't think there's anything else we need to add to this build except the two next project assembly points and for me to put them down um, I need the modular frames, steel beams, the statters and cables and if we're going to be bringing like everything from this building to one location anyway i might as well just smart split it and then maybe remove this setup this like storage we have here because we've got this is we, there's no point in needing two right so i may as well put the two projects assembly uh projects assembly parts uh being made here and then getting that to merge back onto the storage line buses and then we're going to take that out of here and then add an extension to this building uh, by placing the storage in this vicinity right here. Okay, so I've been a little bit of a busy bee. Um, as you can tell, I've now added the assemblers and removed the sink from here. But I've left the storage because obviously I need it to grab items to for me to build things, right? Uh, but I've added the two assemblers. One doing the automated wiring and the other doing the versatile framework. So that is ready and that's the position that I think I'm going to go with. But we've also added this, and this is a merged line from upstairs, which is the status assemblers and the mortars assemblers being merged together. That then comes down here onto this floor, which is my underflooring where, well, where we like to keep all the belts and everything. All the logistics like to be under here. So as we know, the rotors, smart plating, frames, and reinforced plates are all on this belt. There was a floor above. I've now brung that uh, underneath to this flooring which then it comes along here and goes into this merger so a merger you ask why so the mortars and statters that are coming down here are going into this smart splitter this smart splitter is sending statters uh, straight on here because that is needed for advanced wiring but i want the mortars to continue going elsewhere into the storage preferably so that is then going to get split here. As you can see, we've got this set to an overflow. So when a stator and a mortar, uh, when, it, well, when a stator goes along here and it fills this line up, it's going to get sent that way. Any mortars are going to get sent this way once stators are going there, which is then going to merge up with this sushi line right here, which is the one we had previously. That then comes along here into this smart splitter. And what, I, what we want this one to do is to send the rotors to the left. The reason we need to send the rotors this way is because we have brought this sushi line down from this floor now, because this was on this floor, we, we need to send the rotors to the mortar assemblies on the second floor. So what I'm doing instead here is I'm smart splitting the rotors off here to go upstairs to then be used in the, the uh, assemblers to make uh, mortars. But then once this line fills up, the rotors are going to get sent back down this way because the center is set to overflow. So with all that being done and everything merging here, we are now kind of got one big sushi line, which is this going into this line here, which is a Mark III. And it is capable of holding all of these items because we're making less than 270 items. Well, less than 270 items are going onto that belt. Okay, so now I'm just quickly bringing the lines down from the assemblers because I'm merging them together. Um, and that's pretty, pretty close. Um, so I've connected up the wires. The wires are now going into the assembler. And so is the steel beams. And then also the frames will go this way. But they're not going to go this way just yet along there. Same with the statters. Because at the minute, we're actually... Um, not moving any of these items here so the smart splitters are kind of backed up so i need an end goal uh for which is technically the storage so once we get the storage up um all these lines will keep moving that means the status will come through here because at the minute there's a mortar in here blocking this exit because there's more mortar can't go that way because it's already full uh the status aren't going that way it's the same with the frames here as well uh so i've got to wait until i get the storage up but what i'm doing now 
is I'm just currently setting up a little merger system for the output of the assemblers that's providing me with the next project assembly points and I'm just kind of uh, gonna merge them onto the sushi line that we have here so I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna try and line that up here if possible um, and just attach it onto that belt and then what I'm gonna have to do I think I think I need to change this floor in here to actually be a one meter so we'll put that so there and there grab ourselves a lift so a mark one lift to go from there and take you that way and we need to bring you along here to there maybe yeah from you to there and connect you up and then connect that up to there. So now that will take my framework and advanced wiring along here. But saying that, I do need to connect that bit up. Like that. Just like that. But this, I don't like. So, I need to change this. Because that is a no-no. So I want you to come this way. Connect to there. You to connect to that. You to there as well. And then you was connecting to that. Right? So that's then going across there. So now this is a bigger sushi belt, but I do need to upgrade this to a Mark II. Because that's merging in that way. Let's go in that way. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but obviously these aren't going to send um, advanced wiring out just yet. It's only using what it what it's available to uh, until we get the storage up and running and then we've got items moving. So let's crack on with the bus line. Just bring that down here. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then, that is the bus line. So now we've got the quartz, the silica, the cables, the wire, concrete, and plates. And then our major sushi line here, which is holding quite a bit of items, but it is still less than 270, which is what a Mark III holds. So on here, we've got like frames, smart plating, rotors, reinforced plates, mortars, stators. All that is on this belt. So we do need to smart split that. So I think... These items are going to go onto the left hand side here, and this I well, this belt is going to smart split on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying the foundation. I don't know how long I'm going to build. I may as well build it as big as possible, and then just kind of trim away uh, what we don't need afterwards. Uh, how big is that? Is that six, five? Let's kind of make it even and go six, and then I need to do it above as well. Uh, and then we need to start putting some storage down. So, let me make a doo -doo 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 ladders. Where are you? There you are. Put you down here. Now, let's just... I need to find out where I want to put it. Do I want to put it on this height here? So I can kind of access it. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. So, let's go along here. So, let's just go 10. And we'll do six lines this way. Um, so, I do want to maybe put, like, a doorway here, I think. So, make, we'll make, like, a hallway. And we'll have excess through here, I think. And then, um, this can be, like, our main corridor, which is, like, six. So, if I was to put a storage here, floor, storage, this then gives me room to do some form of structure here, I think. Maybe, maybe. Let's just put the storage down. Let's just go with... Uh, organization storage. Let's kind of put this down now. So we'll go like here, for example. I think that's okay. Yeah. And then we'll kind of go along here as well. Is that too far? No. I'm going to space these out. I'm not going to put them side by side just because I want to kind of put window walls there, I think. Um, possibly. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. I don't know how many I need to go with here. I should really do a list of what I need to put down. Okay, there we go. I put a little bit more down than I think I need. Um, and then on the opposite end here, I'm just going to go into conveyor hole lifts and put. Oh, yeah. Put these down all the way around. Right there we go. I've got things moving. So, as I said before, I did use this whole sushi line here. To send everything across here. So, as you can see, all these smart splitters are turning off a specific item. 
So this one is moving rotors to the left to go into that storage. And then this one's taking reinforced plates. This one is doing modular frames and starters and then so on. Uh, and then what I've done is because to kind of keep it even upstairs as well, the I've got two lines here, which is actually the versatile framework and the automated wiring to actually come across to these one uh, to, to these one to this one uh so well to these to actually go into the storage up there and then we've got the quartz silica cable wire and concrete and plates over into these ones which does mean that our status and frames are now moving in the actual main base remember before they was actually empty is because of the the backup in the the system here uh, they're actually moving now. So as we can see, the frames are actually blocking up here, which does mean they will move on to the storage area. And same with the statters. So once this line fills up with statters, which we will see in a minute. Any minute now. Any minute. And then we it should come through here. We should see a statter in here and this line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? <laughs> where are you there it is there it is so now that will then go onto the sushi line downstairs and go into the storage next i'm kind of putting these pillars in between the storages to kind of give it a bit of decoration um they need to go actually go one more you can see it kind of breaks it up as well and fills in the spaces and the near enough perfect size and i don't mind this clip in here because they're not technically moving objects um but yeah Speaking of sushi belts, though, if you have not seen or want to know about sushi belts, look up in the top right-hand corner now. You'll see a little tag. That will take you to the sushi belt video if you want to understand the uh, what sushi belts are, if you haven't watched it, so you can utilize them in your base. But I think now what I'm going to look at doing is maybe let's get a wall, and I want to go for a windowed wall. Um, where are they? Bottom, 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 bottom. Uh, and maybe put these here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Um, let's just do it and just science it for now. Because at the end of the day, I love science. And if you don't do science, you will never broaden your satisfactory journey. Right? And then on the top here, I think I'm just going to do standard walls. Uh, and block these up. Because we don't technically need the top bit yet. Maybe. Uh, but I doubt it. I think this is going to be a personal storage for me to use. Oh, one too many. Like that. Um, oh, we need to do the top bit. And now we've kind of got like a little alleyway, kind of. Uh, and I think I don't... I think I might look around for some details. Maybe play around with some beams. Maybe. And... Oh, I do need to add a sink. Which I think I'm just going to go with here maybe let's have a look at a sink sink can i put this down what if i was to put you down there if i was to put you there could i get a window in there i know i can but wait i need to put a lift in there as well right so would that go there we do have a wall to come out so if i was to put uh get myself a beam real quick put you there like that grab myself a window aim at the beam hold control that then goes there, right? And then I could maybe put another one here and then replace it with a normal wall. I hold control there. It doesn't cover up that gap. Oh, but it does that. Wait. Is that... Can I paint that black? Oh, that's still kind of... Mmm. <sighs> I have an intruder in my base. Bean has literally just come through the main door. What are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself. Put on a hard hat. Oh, my God. He's literally... Do oh, my God. I can't deal with him. I can't deal with him. Worst employee ever. Okay, so after Bean's little intrusion there, I've actually added a pillar here and kind of, like, sat the sink inside of here. And it kind of works well. Um and it it just fits right uh it's nice and cozy and if we look downstairs as well i've now added the uh this smart splitter here uh to actually be a overflow so when all of these back up for example if the steel pipes here 
fill this line and the storage gets full, it's going to push on, right? And it's if, if I didn't put the overflow here, it's just going to sit here and block everything else up, which will block machines up. So I've now put a sink here, which if anything gets a full in the storage, it'll move along here and get sunk. So now that we've got all the storage done and they're kind of being filled with what we need to and all that kind of stuff, and it's being sunk, I want to start looking at aesthetics. And I've kind of started working on this little bit of a framework. And there's a window style that I've been doing in the Twitch streams, link in the description, by the way. And I, I kind of want to show you guys over here as well. So what I'm doing is I'm going to grab myself a beam and I'm going to put it down just here in the center like this. And then I'm going to get myself a window, uh, which is a full frame window. So this one, I'm going to hold control so the beam gets replaced. And then I'm just going to bring that and zoop that all the way across to the end just there. Then I actually want to get a... Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want to get a ramp and I want to go with a concrete ramp so you and i want to put you here i'm going to zoop you all the way across just like that and then i want to bring this all the way up to the top just like this kind of creating like an uh, a hidden away window that's kind of not always like so it's not flat it gives it a bit of depth right but then what i want to look at doing um is this might sound a little chaotic but just bear with me a second I'm just going to grab myself a, a foundation just here and I'm going to place it there. But this time I want to grab myself a hex window frame and place it there. So it's kind of on the top of the ramp and then build this along here just like this. And then from the outside, we have a two layer window and it kind of looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it's something that, yeah, I've been doing on the streams with some new designs and trying to come up with. Uh, and I think it looks pretty cool. Actually, let's try and put you down as well. How's that going to look? Ooh. I like it. I'm keeping it. I think I like that. With like the single window at the back there. And then you've got this kind of like, it looks like a, a protection kind of style glass. Kind of like reinforced glass. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Next, I want to try and get some walls. And I think I'm going to maybe do this bottom bit with walls, maybe. And then where we've got this beam going along here, I'm going to kind of blend this into this top bit of the foundation just here. So I'm just going to just going to bring this across like so to kind of create. So it's not just flat. I don't I, I'm trying to get away. I'm just doing flat just like a lot of us does like we all should try and move away from stuff we're kind of used to and trying to go from away from flat walls and all that kind of stuff uh, and just play around with it and beams is a good way it kind of creates some form of um like fittings i've actually got 73 coupons i'm gonna actually may, might as well is there anything else i need to buy there is i might as well just buy everything right We've got everything that we kind of need. Let's... Oh, actually, I do want these for the storage room, the ceiling lights. So I want to kind of play around with them to see what we can do. Mm, is there anything else? There is... I forgot about this bad boy. I totally forgot about it. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I should have put it... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Where's my cart? Cart? Where are you there? Come. Come, come. Let me... There we go. Jesus. That was a very bad idea. I'm just glad there was water there. Right, so I've been playing around. I've been scienting, as you can tell. We've extended this bit. But I've also added the steel beams down here. This was actually recommended to someone in the stream. Um, that we actually, like, maybe do the steel beams. And it kind of works well. So, kudos, kudos. I've also added the ceiling now. And added the integration of the wall, uh, the door into the actual base as well here. So cool. we can do that. But we've added lights in here. And I don't know if I like these signs like this. I don't know. Because I'm a person that likes to see it when I'm coming in, right? 
So if I'm coming down here, I want to know what is that one there without me going all the way along here and looking at this, right? Um, but we've added these lights, and as you can see, I've made these like little square things in here. And the reason I've done this is because with beams, you can actually diffuse the light, right? So as you can see, we have lights here on this side, right? But if I was to get another beam and kind of place it from there to there, what you're going to see is that side has now been diffused, right? So there's no light on this. And I did originally test out what it would look like all the way along, and it was just the flooring that was lit. And it looked a bit... <laughs> Does that make sense? So I've kind of opened it back up and had the light shining, but you won't actually see any light shining the inside these storage areas because I've actually covered them. But they are the ceiling lights that we've just purchased from the store. Uh, and we can change the lights if we want to. I've added a switch so we can change the color. So uh, I'm kind of going with the orangey vibes just because uh, that's the kind of theme we're going for is the orangey and the blacks. I, I changed these to red as well, and I don't know if I'm kind of liking them. Um, but I do want to add some more stuff here. And there is obviously a big massive hole in the wall here, which I do need to finish. Uh, and yeah, which I'm going to do like now. And there we go. If you want to learn on how I did some of these, make sure you check out some of the tips and tricks that I've done. And then also, if you haven't already, check out the playlist. And as always, keep smiling. <laughs>